What's going on everybody? I am in beautiful Berlin taking in the sights. It's the Brandenburg Gate behind me, but the beautiful scenery is not the only reason that I am here. I came to check out Bosch Connected World where they're showing the future of the connected world. What I wanted to see most was how they're going to try to solve problems that I deal with and probably you deal with on a daily basis. Things like trying to find parking spots, things like dealing with traffic, which is absolutely insane in Southern California, and a lot of other problems that we encounter in everyday life. So I'm going to check out the scenes and I'm going to show you what is new from Bosch Connected World. Stay tuned. So to answer these problems, we've got Bosch's vision of essentially connected parking. So a couple of cool things are going on here. First, the parking garage is actually what's made smart. You pull your car in, you pull up to a registered area, you get out of your car, you open your smartphone, you push a button, and your car goes and parks itself, and then you come back and you push a button and your car comes back to you. That is incredibly cool. And there's actually a real live demo of that that was going on here. This technology that is coming, and it's not just coming to one manufacturer, it's not just for Mercedes or, or BMW. This technology that's going to work across all cars, which is pretty awesome to see. Almost every form of locking is getting smart. At my home, I've got smart locks, but car keys seem to have had some incredible staying power. And Bosch is looking to pretty much kill them here with completely keyless cars. And the way it works pretty obviously, it's gonna use your phone as a key. We've seen that before. But what Bosch is doing is they're taking the problems associated with that and just kind of making them be like, not big deal issues. So first, you could send keys to other people. So if your wife or a valet wanna drive a car, you could send a key to them totally wirelessly through the cloud. They'll get it on their phone. It's gonna remember your seating location so it'll know that it's John's phone that's being paired with the car. It'll go ahead and put all my seat settings where they are. So things like that are super cool. And as you step away from the car and you leave what Bosch is calling the locking zone, your car automatically locks. You get a notification on your phone saying, yeah, your car is, is indeed locked. So you may have heard of blockchain in regards to cryptocurrency, but the blockchain tech is used for way more. Bosch actually using it for the used car market to make sure that your odometer is actually accurate. The amount of miles you have on the car is what it's going to say. So every time you're driving your car, it's going to add to the blockchain what your actual mileage is. When you go to sell the car, that is verifiable by somebody who wants to buy it. And you get a little tag like this, scan the code, and then the person who purchased the car can actually know and verify that what you're telling them is honest and accurate. Pretty cool. So I'm just nonchalantly hanging out in, uh, in an i3, but I, I drive an EV at home, and anybody who's driven an EV knows there's a problem with having like 30 different providers for different stations, and you gotta carry four or five different RFID tags, you gotta have different apps on your phone. It's really annoying and cumbersome to just do simple things like charge your car when you gotta get somewhere. Another way problems are being solved, Bosch is actually taking the majority of those OEMs that run the charging stations, and especially in Europe, and they're making one app that can control everything for you, and they're gonna handle all the back-end stuff. You just roll up to a station, use your one app, and charge your car. It's a pretty novel solution, but it's crazy to think like something like that didn't exist. Talk a lot about my family. I got two kids at home, four and two. What's crazy about seeing all the stuff here at Bosch Connected World, it's all on the cusp of happening. My kids are probably never going to drive a car. They'll probably never be behind the wheel of an automobile. Wheels won't even be a thing that are there. They're not gonna have to park their car. They're gonna grow up in a world where all of this technology exists and it's awesome to be right at the cusp of when that paradigm shift is going to happen. And events like this are what are going to change the world and things we are gonna completely take for granted in 10 or 15 years. So what I showed here is like a fraction of what's going on at Bosch Connected World. I filmed another video going into a lot more detail of things that are happening here at the hackathon, the connected parking. I talked to some engineers that are making this magic happen. If you wanna learn more, I think you definitely should. We'll link to the video down below. It'll live on Bosch's channel where you can just check out and learn way more about all the awesome stuff that's going on here at Bosch Connected World. I'll be the same.